Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Midwest Market Solutions Insider Commentary. It's a Wednesday. It's March the 8th. Thanks for joining us here. As we look at what's going on in the markets today, we are expecting a little bit lower grain prices, a little bit lower livestock when we get started here at the 8.30 reopening. Overnight trends were lower, and uh, we continue to expect we'll see some weakness here ahead of the supply and demand report out tomorrow, as uh, the report should show a big increase in soybean possibly corn production out of Brazil as well. We've had a host of analysts, and they are anywhere from 108 to 111 million metric tons. Uh, Solaris came out yesterday about 109.6, and uh, USDA is at 104. So we do expect an increase there that could uh, be a little bearish for the markets, but pretty much will be anticipated by the time we get to uh, tomorrow's report. There was a private sale this morning, 122,000 metric tons of soybean meal. That was announced, and uh, that was sold to the Philippines. Should be a little supportive this morning, but overall, not a game changer. If uh, we open lower, we do expect wheat to find some support off of yesterday's lows, where we rallied into the uh, end of the day, and weather forecasts that remain fairly dry for the winter wheat belt and the plains areas in particular. The livestock trade uh, looks to open a little bit lower in the cattle on follow through selling once again. The Fed online auction starts about 10 o'clock. I don't expect any major moves until that auction uh, takes place. If you have any questions, commentaries, uh, feel free to contact any of our offices around the Midwest. We have seven offices, six different states. I'll be doing the Sirius Satellite uh, Channel 147 Commodity Wrap Program this afternoon, tonight. Uh, should air about 6 o'clock and 10 o'clock tonight. So uh, make sure you check that out. And I uh, hope everybody has a great day of trade. Good luck, and we will talk to you again very soon.